Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. He is I'm here with stand-up comedian George Mimula. <laughs> say, what, what about those women, eh? Can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell you to write that one. Uh, what about that airline food, eh? In today's video, we're watching Darman, specifically a video called Gay Teen Pressure to Come Out. Now, obviously, I am living the bi life. So I thought I would get somebody on who's the opposite and a homophobe to help kind of counteract so we get two points of view. So thank you for coming along. I'm going to be John. seething with rage watching this. I'm going to be on the bully <laughs> side. So just to mix things up, I always cheer for the villain on the Darman videos. Yeah, that's what we do. We've got to both pick a side. I'm picking the side of the gay team. You pick the side of the of the 38-year-old homophobe that they're going to bring in and try and pass off as a teenager. All right, let's begin. Hey, do you know who you're voting for for class president yet? Yeah, you. Of course. Everybody knows you're going to win again, Pete. Right? Here, take a flyer anyway. Isn't it really obvious he's gay and half the other people in the school are gay? Like, the first person we meet is wearing a pride shirt. Like They all get pressured to come out, clearly. <laughs> it's a hostile environment, this school. <laughs> what you don't realise is five men came and ripped his t-shirt off and actually put that on him <laughs> by pure force. Wear this gay t-shirt! Everybody knows it. You see, we don't even need to be handing these out. You got this on lock. Thanks. I just don't want to take any chances, you know? Fucking hell, it's <laughs> Marty McFly. <laughs> But I can tell he's the he's the high school bully because he's wearing a jacket. He's wearing a jacket and he's got a mullet in it the way he strides. But that mullet is real. Yeah, he has to walk around with that. He has to live with that every day. He, he lives like this. Currently, if you were to tell me which one the gay one is, I'm, I'm, putting, <laughs> I'm putting my money on him. Hey, do you know who you're voting for yet? What are you two clowns doing in my hallway? Your hallway? <laughs> my hallway. Why does everybody act like they own... They own the area that everybody walks around in in these. I don't get it. What are you talking about? This area doesn't belong to you. It will soon, once I'm elected the new president. <laughs> this is like a West Side, East Side beef. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you see in East London. Oi, what are you doing in Poplar, mate? But it's just like, it's like what are you doing in my hallway? Gang violence, <laughs> gay people and people with mullets. <laughs> mate, that's the oldest gang violence <laughs> in history. Those are the people you really got to avoid. You get caught up in between that, you're not making it out alive. Hey, make sure to vote for me. You want more breaks and less homework. Sounds good to me. I'd vote for him. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't care if he's homophobic, mate. <laughs> if I could be, if somebody said, all right, you can be like proud to be yourself and you could, yeah, everybody knows you're gay. Or they go, or half the homework. You know what? I honestly, I'd have to side with him. I, I'm saying I'm, I'm taking the side of him. He's very convincing policies. Le more breaks and less homework. Work. What more could you possibly want from your school uh, yeah, experience? You're, yeah, you're putting human rights on the back. Why have you made me hold this microphone, by the way? Because it's, it's cool, isn't it? Because it looks, it matches all the colours. <laughs> That's what that gay teen's been up to. What, with this microphone, Alex? <laughs> no, no, the idea is it looks like a cut. You're not going to touch it because it makes you gay. Oh, touch it because it's phallic. It, I'm, it's, not, I'm not touching the gay microphone. I'm not touching the gay microphone, mate. It looks like a cock. I prefer my microphones to, to look manly. I prefer them to look like vaginas. I'm on boob, Mike. <laughs> Fleshlight, Mike. <laughs> you know, we were passing out flyers here first. Yeah. You should be the one that's leaving. Nah. I think I'll stay. What are those? Isn't it obvious he's gay? Uh, let's stop bullying Pete for <laughs> class president 2020 with a big rainbow and love hearts above his head. I mean, right. if I had to take a wild guess, if a man handed me those like, leaflets in the street, I'd say he was gay. The only way it could be worse is if he used the rainbow word up. <laughs> that would have been elite. That would have been an elite the, move from Darman. The free, the free D one. If I was making a poster, it would be black and white. Actually, it would be red and white like, like St. George's flag, mate. <laughs> I'd have a proper British poster. I saw someone say this the other day was it <laughs> the riots at Wembley were basically the straight pride parade <laughs> it was mate and it's unreal and I wish we were there <laughs> what are those your lame flyers let me see that hey come on man <laughs> you want people to be proud <laughs> George maybe list fans when they say I'm Alex Merch <laughs> <laughs> you want me to buy that you put a rainbow on it no no way how dare you you want people to be proud and you put a rainbow on it wow that is so gay. Yeah, he's right. Right, it I mean, a bit, a bit gay. there's nothing insulting about that. He's pointing out he's gay. No, but it is a bit gay. Isn't yeah, it? no, it's, and he's, and he's, he's not just yeah, a bit gay. There's nothing wrong he with it. He's so gay, Alex, yeah. as he said. He's actually, it, and based on the fact that they are gay, he seems to be the only person, apparently, 
who's made that observation. You're starting to think that everybody else in the school is actually an idiot, and this guy's the only one who's actually aware he's of what's the going only on around intellectual him. intellectual in this whole school, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean that, that's shown by his policies. He knows how to get the people on board. Yeah. They're unlikely policies, because I don't think the class president does have uh, power over de- making those decisions, but they're great policies nonetheless, yeah. and people are falling I'm for I'm not going to lie. If you're only policies, be proud. What is that? That's not exactly. a That's not something that's you very can... very fucking vague, like, Yeah, it? it's not something you can actually enact. You see, it? this guy, he's... Specific with his policies. More breaks, less homework, simple. You know what you're getting. Tell me how you're going to achieve being proud. How are you going to make people proud? You can't do that. But you could, you could give me a roadmap on how you can get homework less. And that's why, that's what I'm voting for the mullet man. Give those back to him. Well, you want them back, huh? All right. Here. (laughs) Seriously? Grow up. Mate, he's 38. (laughs) What do you reckon he puts out? High schooler. Must be above the age of 67, <laughs> please. Looking for experienced actors with mullets. This man is near the end of his acting career. This man was in the original Star Wars. This is actually the actor who played Marty McFly. He's just come back. He's <laughs> doing this. Why are you always defending him anyways? What, is he your boyfriend or something? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way, man. No I don't way. Know about you, but he's acting kind of sussy. Yeah, I don't know. If I saw two people out, like sitting in the in the hallway, handing out rainbow posters that say "Be proud" on them, I don't know if it would be too much of an observation to go. Maybe they dated. You know, he's and not exactly that, been rude. That has response he? wasn't very convincing. <laughs> what? what? That is absurd. What? 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 I've never sucked his cock. I've never got. <laughs> That's not me. I've never done that. Okay. He's... We're just friends. Uh huh. There's something off about you. I don't know what it is quite yet, but once I do, I'm gonna expose you to the whole school. Okay, you're right, he's just as thick as everyone else, then. You've got these leaflets to say you're proud and you have rainbows on them. That's so gay. I can't figure out what 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 what, what, what it is about you, but I'm gonna expose you when I do. And all you do is hang out with the same man in the same hallway 24-7, and you get oddly close to each other. I thought he was gonna go, I've got a fucking unbelievable gaydar. You don't understand how good my gaydar my gaydar is next level. It's unreal. I love it. What are you doing, that mic? You know, like, what's it you know nobody, will, nobody will be able to hear you. Now. Nobody's gonna, hear, nobody's gonna be able to hear you at all. It's gonna be absolutely. Will they hear me possible. now? If I have it this close, will they hear me now? Why? If I, do, I don't know. What, I thought it should be a cool little gimmick. You got lots well, of cool bionicles up there. I respect your bionicle collection. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, you know, like the Lego cars, they got like the Porsches. I think those would be good for me to collect because they don't, they won't break in transit. My gaydar is absolutely fucking pigging right now next to you, mate. What? Because I like Lego. <laughs> We're saying off about him, and when I find it out, I'm gonna expose it to the whole school. <laughs> 22, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually 38, playing a 22-year-old. We know this. Me and you are both 44, mate. We play 22-year-olds at 23-year-olds on the internet for money. <laughs> you could be 48. I, I, I provide no evidence that I'm 23. I could be like 45. You'd never How know. How much do you reckon it would weird people out if they're like, they found, I'm actually 22, but people found out that you're actually like a 48-year-old? <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. I've got a mortgage, uh, some children, and a, a lovely wife. <laughs> I can't stand that guy. Just a friend. Really? He's like, oi! Why don't you tell him we were shagging? <laughs> Why is that the thing he took offence to? He got abused homophobically for five minutes. And he went, wait, wait. Just, just a mate. Fucking hell, man. Sort it out. What do you want me to say that you're my boyfriend? What do you want me to say? That you're my little toy that I throw around every day? <laughs> my little bottom You're bitch. my little subby wubby <laughs> oo woo anime boyfriend. <laughs> All right, press play, press play. <laughs> Look, if people knew I was gay, no one would vote for me. The only other person we've seen has been wearing a pride shirt. Everybody in the Darman video is definitely gay. Can we talk about this later? Let's just go. Why are these high, two high school students at like what looks like a quite high-end restaurant? How are they affording this? <laughs> My man's gone to Nobu to celebrate his presidential <laughs> run. Are you nervous about the election tomorrow? A little. I don't know, I just have this feeling in the pit of my stomach like something's gonna go wrong. So has this man just come to a restaurant on his fucking lads? Like, is he just on his own? <laughs> just finished extra maths. <laughs> now, now I have to get myself a fucking 90 now, for, pound for a black cod and a wagyu steak. <laughs> wagyu steak. <laughs> 
a glass of wine to, to wash it all down. After a long day at high school. After a long day of homophobic abusing, I am going out for a lovely meal. Yum. <laughs> Mate, he's a classy guy. I don't know why he's looking at them as if they're the weird ones. He's literally at a restaurant on his fucking own. Plot twist. This is a gay bar. <laughs> and he walks in alone. Thank you for always making me feel better. Give me your hands. Give me your hands, George. No, I'm not touching your hands. <laughs> Give me your hands. No, George. I'm not touching your fucking sweaty hands. <laughs> no, it is, it is no, really hot in this room. I'm not, good. I'm not touching your <laughs> so sweaty hands. So many lights, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're somewhere in a fucking UFO. <laughs> Give me your hands. No. No, you fucking gay little freak. No, you gay lord. What? what? Gay lord, gay lord. Everybody, look how gay it is. <laughs> what if someone sees us? Relax, it's not like anyone knows us here. <laughs> this is me, me and you, Roka. Right. See you on the wacky, George. Right. Yeah, people are actually going to think I'm gay after this. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this video is me. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Good, my man. How did they not fucking see him? How did they not... <laughs> He sat right next to them. Hey, Pete. I just wanted to let you know that I'm voting for you today. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Darman's made this video right, and the thing I love about it is the fact that he basically just uses these as a vehicle to abuse different types of people. It's like being able to do commentary, but just on everybody, and you could just be blatantly horrible. Can we and... make a Darman channel and fund it? Like, we just hire, like, fucking Z-list actors Mate, from, like, if, EastEnders if or we some get, shit. If just, we get, like, tw like, like ex-Love Island stars yeah, to star in these. If we can get a like on this video, then we will start our own Darman channel, and we'll just, like, go through a list of oppressed people and make a video where we're just really horrible to them. <laughs> but it will have a redeeming ending. It we... won't. It won't. <laughs> they'll just they'll just be Darman videos, but without the ending. <laughs> it cuts to, it's just, just cuts the plot. It's just five minutes of summer I'm getting homophobically abused. Sorry, just, I mean, that's it. Really there's, no, there's no story. Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, there's no moral to this story. Um, <laughs> I just thought it'd be quite funny to show this. <laughs> he could quite obviously slump him. Like, there's like a full foot in them. He can fucking slump him. <laughs> but, yeah. Mate, he, he could dominate him. He could turn him into his little bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> Twink bottom boy. <laughs> that's why he's so upset, mate. I knew there was something off about you. You're gay. <laughs> I know what's up for you. You're gay. Is People when they see you on TikTok for the first time <laughs> since your edgy commentary days. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. How are you going to deny it? You and your boyfriend Julian are a couple. Mate, it's called Julian. They should have known. <laughs> they should have known. I don't think there's a straight man on earth called Julian. <laughs> no, it doesn't exist, man. They should have known. Just wait until everyone finds out. Stop lying. No one's gonna believe you. Yes, they will. They've seen the flyers. They'll believe him no, instantly. He hasn't shown the flyers yet, Alex. <laughs> yeah, but he's been handing. He's them. about to show. Look, he no, says, no, "Oh no, yeah." No, no, but the original ones, he was oh, handing yeah. out. Oh yeah. What about when they see this? Don't vote for gay Pete. <laughs> they might have just been fucking. I don't know. Doing a fun war. <laughs> they could just be dapping each other up. <laughs> At the fancy restaurant, dapping up your homie. Where did you get that picture? Saw you two fruits at the restaurant. Fruits. <laughs> Wait, so can I just say, is everyone in this video, in the, like the Darman cinematic universe, completely fucking brain dead? Like he was literally sat next to him. How the? What, what, where did you get? Him? It's sat next to you. The Darman MCU. It, it's unbelievable. It is actually unbelievable. The DMCU. <laughs> the, the DMCU. They have better written villains in these than they do in actual Marvel these stories films. All, all these stories taking place in the same universe. So like, like I hope so because that makes it's just a it. fucked world. Don't worry, you can keep it. My backpack is filled with them. That's I, a bit gay printing <laughs> off loads of pictures of two men two holding. Men I have to say that is a bit gay. Mate, he definitely had to go to the store and get more fucking ink for his printer. He's, you know, he probably had to go to like Staples or something and be like, can you print 500 of these? Why are you printing 500 pictures of two men holding hands? I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not, I'm not gay. gay. I'm not gay. I'm, I know I'm overly interested in this man, this bloke. I know I should be like obsessed with him. Being obsessed with men is not the same as wanting to like fucking slap him down. What do you want from me, Frank? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> I want your cock! Now! Please! I'm gonna get on my knees. At the election today, I want you to tell everyone that you're dropping out of the race. I can't do that. Fine! Then I have
have to tell the whole school about your gay little secret. Oh man, you've written this so poorly. It's not as everyone knows, though, yeah. man. They all know. Anybody who watched them for more than five seconds would know, man. Hey. Mate, he just struck his arm. <laughs> Does this school have, like, no one that goes to it? <laughs> Are these, like, the only two people in the hallway? <laughs> Mate, this school is so strange. It's so weird. He saw us and he got a picture and he made flyers and he's gonna hand them out at school and I, I have to drop out of the race. What are you talking about? You can't do that. What well, one other option do I have? Let him expose me? Then no one is going to vote for me anyway, so I'll still lose. Who says no one's going to vote for you? Like I said, you should never be scared to be yourself, no matter what. Too right, mate. Cringe. And that goes to you as well. Cringe. Darman cringe. <laughs> You're so cringy, man. Telling people they should be themselves. So cringe, bro. It's horrible. Cringe. Like, I don't understand why they need to promote being yourself when you've got people at the school who are like, actively rocking a mullet in like 2021. I'm still rooting for the bully, by the way. <laughs> Mate, I'm on his side as well, to be fair. Besides, is in your whole platform to be proud? It doesn't say anywhere on that flyer proud, the word proud, but I don't know what the fuck you're on about here. Yeah, it does. It says be proud right, right on it, George. Are you all right? It says Pete. Pete, for class president. Class president where does it say proud, huh? It doesn't say it anywhere. No, oh, sorry. This is like Mandela effect. It doesn't say it anywhere, yet everyone thinks it does. <laughs> Everybody thinks Pete's gay, <laughs> but in fact, he's actually been a big straight boy the whole time. Be for class president 2021. Let's stop bullying. Why should we? That's a very good question, Alex, and I, I have an answer to that. We shouldn't. Bullying does achieve a lot, I think. It does. Like, maybe if somebody, you know, bullied the mullet man, well, he would shut up. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if they bullied him into submission and getting a haircut, maybe everything would have been fine. They could all be able to get along. It'll be on the same level. You have to stand up for yourself. He just sucks his fingers. <laughs> mm, yummy. Trust me. Trust you. Trust you. You're gay! I would never trust you. I'm still, everybody still thinks I'm straight. You may have given up on trying to conceal it, but I haven't. I still want to be normal. So that's why you should all vote for me because I'll make sure that we have more breaks and less homework. He's actually he... wearing a pride shirt in front fucking row. Yeah, I'm looking at these people and I'm saying... I'm saying one of them looks homophobic. <laughs> Which one? Have you the, one them? the one with long hair. Uh, yeah, I also think the one who looks kind of like Leafy, probably. <laughs> he definitely goes home and does a CSGO commentary on this. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Well, well, you were right. He is the homophobic one. <laughs> well, no, there's nothing homophobic about wanting more breaks and less homework. He knows what he truly stands for. He's homeworkophobic. <laughs> You've got the stand-up mic and you've turned into a proper full-on comedian, mate. So up next is our current class president, Pete. Woo! Do they do this in America? Because this is this is gay. What all four of you does the class president poss could, could they possibly have? They're a child. <laughs> they get to send people off to faraway places to separate from the They get to deport people. <laughs> We're opening a hard labour camp at the school for people as a replacement for detention. That's fucking mullet is policy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I actually have some bad news to share. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible news. I, I have to drop out of the election. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what they say, mate? Bad people win when good people step aside. That's what's happening here. I don't know what to say. It's an honor. You can't drop out, Pete. We want you as our president. Be quiet, fruity boy. <laughs> well said, well said. The thing is, if he's not voted president, you can't make him president. This is giving me big Donald Trump vibes. I think Pete's on a bit of a Donald Trump arc here. He just kind of assumed he's going to be president again. Mate, you should allow people to vote for what they want, Pete. And if they want homophobia and less schoolwork, you know, everybody deserves their turn, Pete. Frank, you cannot say that. I can say what I want to. I'm the new president. I'm the new president. Oh, hey, mate. He's channeling his inner Trump here, isn't he? He's going to say that. Oh, is that why he's got that hair? This is why we need you, Pete, to help with bullies like Frank. Yeah, Pete for president. 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 Pete, are you sure you want to drop out? Looks like you have a lot of support. You can't drop out, Pete. We need you. Yeah, Pete, please. Is it really that dependent on him being president? <laughs> what is happening? What is it? What happens if he does doesn't? That, does he just become the, like... Do they lock Does he become the principal? Uh, is he responsible for all goings <laughs> on in the school? I always worry that if he doesn't get president, it's like a fucking 25-year reign of terror. <laughs> I guess I won't drop out then. <laughs> what was that?
was that? What was that moment meant to be? What was happening? You like I dressed him from across the room and then he went, Yeah, I'm gonna carry on being president. This is a late. Are you sure you aren't dropping out? This is your last chance before I expose you. Mate, if anybody saw him looking at his mate from across the room, they'd, they'd know. They'd know that he's gay. At this point, there's nothing to hide. I'm waiting for the shocking bit to happen. What is the shocking bit here, Darman? The shocking bit is they're all going to accept him. What? That's mental. You know what, Frank? You don't need to expose me. I'll do it myself. The truth is, I'm... I'm gay. And Julian's not just my friend, he's my boyfriend. Because actually, I don't want to put a label on it. Uh, you know, we're seeing each other, but technically, you know, I wouldn't go that far. He's just ragging me. <laughs> I'm this little sub who gave an uh, anime boy who wears a maid dress, but I'm nothing more than that, and I don't want to put a label on it. I don't know why it was so hard for me to admit that till now, but hearing all the support from you guys just reminded me that I should never be scared to be myself. This is how I felt with you, James, and Will, and doing e voice recordings made me feel at home and comfortable. Good, and that's why you stopped it. <laughs> Also, I'm telling you now, his boyfriend sucks. He wasn't even there for his election. <laughs> exactly. At least the, the bully was there. You know? <laughs> yeah, he was there. He was there, in, 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 not just in spirit, but to terrorise him. Why are you all clapping for him? Did you hear what he said? He's gay. Oh, shit. Yeah, he did say that. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on, what? Wait, he's been gay the whole video. Wait, that's ruined this for me. There's no doubt that Pete is once again our president. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Bends him over the desk. <laughs> That's the shocking bit. <laughs> and the dumb man goes, How dare they? And this is why you shouldn't support them because they're, they're not going to be, they're like animals and they'll do crazy they're things. Fornicators. And they'll do it in public and it's gross and it's grim. <laughs> Thank you, dumb man, for that great moral message. And um, we're not going to actually figure out what he's going to say because uh, I think we've just assumed what it was anyway. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. Please check out George's channel if you want to. Leave a like and you and we'll watch more epic uh, Darman videos. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.